DWATS, a proven solution to urban growth and sanitation challenges. Decentralized wastewater treatment systems, or simply DWATS, offer unique possibilities for treating wastewater in urban areas in a sustainable and effective way. But what exactly is DWATS? Inspired by nature, DWATS works on the basis of simple biological and physical principles. Gravitation, hydraulic flow and the activities of microorganisms in the wastewater. No energy input or chemical treatment is required, making DWATS an environmentally sound, reliable and affordable treatment option. The treatment takes place in different modules. First, running through a septic tank, the solid substances are removed through the simple force of gravity. Second, a baffled reactor is used to reduce pollutants in a biological way without any contact to oxygen. Third, an anaerobic filter cleans the wastewater further through the contact with bacteria growing in the wastewater. A smart hydraulic design supports this process. Throughout this anaerobic digestion, biogas is produced. By using a biogas digester, the DWATS plant can become a renewable energy source for nearby households. Lastly, a horizontal gravel filter consisting of sand, stones and plants removes the odor and color of the wastewater. Complying with environmental and health standards, the water can now be recycled and used for gardening, irrigations or for flushing of toilets. Regular water tests prove that high quality standards are being met. Up to a thousand cubic meter of wastewater can be treated per day. And so the application range of DWATS is broad, including communities, schools, hospitals, hotels, public buildings and companies. The system also proves to work in slaughterhouses, farms, restaurants and local markets. DWATS projects aim to find the most appropriate solution for the respective users. Due to its modular design, DWATS can be adjusted to fit the needs of the customer and respond to the particular social, economic and environmental local conditions. Therefore, before construction starts, consultations with the client and a feasibility study usually take place. With all information gathered, an appropriate detailed engineering design for the DWATS plant is developed that meets the needs of the customer. According to this design, the construction takes about two to four months. Supervised by experienced engineers, the system can be built by local workers using locally available materials. No import of expensive material is required here. Set underground, the first construction steps include the site preparation and excavation. As such, no additional space is required as the top of the DWATS plant can be used later as a parking space, sports field or even playground. Using brick stones and reinforced concrete for the bottom floor, no wastewater can drain into the surrounding. Here the different chambers of settler, anaerobic buffet reactors and anaerobic filters are built. These models are connected internally, allowing the wastewater to run from one treatment step to the next. Leak tests ensure that the system is closed off from the environment and no wastewater or gas can pollute the surrounding. And so, no smell will be produced by a DWATS plant. Next, the top will be poured with concrete. Manholes at the top of each chamber allow the opening of the system for maintenance requirements. For that purpose also control boxes are built. Connecting the DWAT system to the existing toilets and sanitation facilities and filling the anaerobic treatment modules with adequate material are last steps for the plan to start operation. The DWATS system is now able to clean the polluted water. 
Without electric input and chemical treatment, DWIRTS can function almost by itself. This allows the respective user to operate and maintain their plant on their own. As such, after a successful test run, it will be commissioned and handed over to the customer. A local operator is trained to maintain the system from now on. Developed by Border, a German-based non-profit organization working through an international partner network, DWORTS projects have already been successfully implemented in many countries in Asia and Africa. In Lao PDR, the Lao Institute for Renewable Energy, or LIA, is their local partner. LIA is a Lao non-profit organization dedicated to the sustainable development of the renewable energy and natural resources sector in the country. Since 2010, LIA collaborates with Sunlabob Renewable Energy, an internationally award-winning Lao company, to promote DWATS further in this country. But there is more to DWATS than just technical infrastructure. Providing wastewater treatment for people that have been living without adequate sanitation for their whole lives requires social interventions too. <laughs> As part of the community-based sanitation framework, participation from end-users, governmental authorities and international partners is key in ensuring that improved sanitation conditions will prove to be sustainable in the long run. To do so, each stakeholder and each member of a target community is actively involved in every step of the project implementation. Further, health and hygiene trainings and health impact assessments ensure that the DWATS infrastructure will effectively improve the health and living conditions.